Hi, Sarah Brent. A lot of big priorities at the Capitol, but despite the excitement, a somber air in both chambers today as lawmakers get back to work on this first session day without Representative Quinton Q. Williams. We're all grieving. We're also all celebrating his life. Joyful energy that he brought to the legislature and to the community that he represented. A black bunting covers the seat of State Representative Quinton Q. Williams, who died three weeks ago, just a few hours after the new legislative session gabbled in. It's a very big uh, loss that we're feeling, um, and this is our first session day back. You know, we were the last session day he was here. Wednesday, lawmakers honoring Q's memory with colorful accessories taking shape as pocket squares or flowers on lapels. We're all trying to, to just make a, a gesture, you know, thinking about him. I've been handing out pocket squares left, right and sideways and we have to do a special order. Lesser says he nearly ran out of pocket squares by early Wednesday afternoon. It's our job to pick up his mantle and to continue his legacy, uh, but also to keep his, you know, his joyful uh, approach to governing. Keeping that joyful approach to governing as legislators get back to business. A big measure up for debate Wednesday, the new state police contract. Starting off a new officer at a higher pay rate, they think we'll get hopefully get more candidates in the door at the outset and hopefully through the process not lose as many through attrition. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle looking to recruit more officers to the profession with a boost in trainee pay, a $3,500 bonus, 2.5% pay raises each year, and more. This is a small step to get people, more people willing to do the job, but we need to make some significant policy decisions in this chamber and soon so that the officers that come forward are able to do the job. Majority and minority leaders agree this is a great step to help the state police force, but many Republicans argue recruitment is about more than just increasing pay. Both the House and Senate passed this measure today near unanimously, just one no vote in each chamber. This new police contract starts retroactively from last July and will run through June 2026. Sarah Brent.